Hello, this is Professor BRB, and today we're going to learn how to create navigation buttons in Adobe InDesign that have sound so that when uh, the user clicks on the button, he'll actually hear a little click. So um, let's go to our master page, A Navigation, which is where my buttons are living. Let's zero in on them here. And you can see I've done something a little different with these buttons. Uh, when I created the frames that were going to become the buttons, I actually imported pictures into them so that uh, they would have a little bit of texture. And that's a picture of some wildflowers in an Alaskan meadow that I took when I was in Alaska. So first thing I have to do for the buttons that are made up of more than one shape is I have to group that, those two shapes object group, select those two, and then go object group. And um, next, I need to import the sound that I would like to associate with these buttons into InDesign. So I'm going to look at my layers palette here. I'm going to unlock my background layer, and I'm going to put that sound on my background layer. This is the same uh, as importing picture or text into InDesign. You simply go File, Place. Your button needs to be in MP3 format. Open. And I'm just going to put this right up here. Um, looking at my background layer here, it's on top of my rectangle, and I'm going to drag it down here to put it underneath so it's not going to show. So if I go to my media panel with that sound still selected, I can preview it. And I hear it's just the kind of little click I want. So that's great. So now we're just going to create our buttons and add that sound. So there's my go to first page button. I go to my buttons and forms panel. I create a button. I'm going to call it go to go to first page and I'm going to add the action go to first page now I'm going to add a second action sound and notice when I do that uh, down here sound comes up and it shows the one sound I've imported into this document if I had more than one sound I would be able to choose between them and the option is play which is exactly what I want now I'd like to add my rollover state, so I'm going to choose rollover here, and I'm going to go up here to get my effects panel. Make sure I have preview checked here, and I can preview what different effects are going to look like. Glow is a little too subtle. Inner glow, interesting. Bevel and emboss, that's kind of nice. Um, I think I'm going to choose that one. Um, but maybe I'll change the blending mode to multiply. So that looks pretty good. Bevel and emboss. I like that. I'm going to choose OK and then create an object style so that I can apply that quickly to my other buttons. And I'm going to call it rollover bevel so that I can remember what it is. Go back to my buttons panel, return that button to its normal state. And then it's just a matter of uh, going through these buttons and programming them. That's going to be to previous, go to previous page, and so we'll add the action. Go to previous page, and then we're going to add the sound. And Add the rollover state with my object style here. Rollover bevel. I like that. Return it to its normal state. Let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing with this one. Button. Go to, go to next page. Add the action. Add the sound. 
add my rollover state. And then go back to normal. So we have one last one to do before we can preview this and see if they work the way we want. Let's create a button and call this go to last page. Add the action, go to last page, add the sound, and add the rollover state. And Return it to its normal state. Okay, let's save what we did here. Always a good idea. I'll save. And um, let's. You can see my background has become a little. Because uh, I had that unlocked, it got a little bit out of register. So I'm going to fix that and then I'm going to lock it. And now uh, we can actually find the preview panel right here. Let's make it bigger so we can see what we're doing. And I want to click right here, set preview document mode so it won't just be doing that master page. And then I have to hit play again. So I'm going to go forward to page one. And I can see my rollovers are working. That's good. And let's see if the click works. That works great. So um, that is, in a nutshell, how to program navigation buttons with a sound. And uh, the takeaway from this is that buttons can have multiple actions if you add them in the button panel.